What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw 4 TV. So, in tonight's loss to the Orlando Magic, LeBron James finally, finally, finally passed Michael Jordan and a stat that realistically you would have thought he would have passed Jordan in honestly during his Miami Heat days that that's how pathetic his rebounding really is ladies and gentlemen I understand that he has over 10,000 career rebounds but the fact that in his 21st NBA season, LeBron Ramon James just collected his 1,669th career offensive rebound is pathetic. It's pathetic. In his 1,420, uh, I believe, 27th game played, He finally passed Michael Jordan in career offensive rebounds. That means it took LeBron James a total of about four and a third seasons more than Michael Jordan played. He played an additional four and one third season more than Michael Jordan just to now tie and just move ahead of him in offensive rebounding. We're talking about a guy that's supposed to be bigger, faster, stronger. All these triple doubles. How the hell did he get all these triple doubles? What is he, fourth in triple doubles behind Russ? Uh, what, fourth behind Russ, Oscar, Magic, and I think he's right there behind Jason Kidd or something like that. So he's fifth. Joker, Joker will probably pass him soon, though. But still, you're way up there in triple doubles. How did you only just pass this man in offensive rebounds? I'll tell you why. Because it's something that he gets away with doing time and time again. It's the reason why, before tonight's game, he went three games... Uh, shout to Jesse Glass second for the stat. He went three consecutive games without even getting one offensive rebound because he's not he, he's not really a great rebounder. What he does, for the most part, is he plays very little defense and he pretty much just stands around on the court watching other people play defense. And then when a shot is taken, he steps to the basket. He gets to roam around the court until a shot is launched by the off by, by the opponent, and then he tries to crash the boards. He then tries to crash the defensive boards, get a fast break, scoring, passing, whatever. That's the LeBron method for padding his numbers and getting triple doubles. But it's funny. When Russell Westbrook was doing that, it was always called out. Hey, Russ is stealing rebounds from Steven Adams. Even though when Russ was playing with Steven Adams, Steven Adams was averaging more rebounds. But the talking point was he's stealing rebounds from Steven Adams. Oh, he's taking these defensive boards and running up the court and, and padding his numbers. But when LeBron's doing a slower version of that, nobody seems to notice this. Nobody seems to notice that this six foot nine. 270 pound locomotive who supposedly is the, the the athletic freak of his generation is a piss poor rebounder who's never had one season averaging at least 10 rebounds per game despite the fact Larry Bird who probably only had a 28 inch vertical leap compared to LeBron's 45 inches his prime 44 inch despite the fact that Larry Bird played the last 40 years of his career with a chronically bad back. 
Bird was able to average 10 rebounds per game for his career. Elgin Baylor, who was 6'5 and 225, averaged 13 and a half rebounds per game for his career. Charles Barkley, who was only 6'4 and a half, was able to average 11 point, what, 7 rebounds per game for his career. But LeBron Ramon James, this athletic freak, only has 1,668 offensive rebounds? He's just now passing a guard? And I can get I can give you another guard who was a beast at getting offensive rebounds. He really crashed the boards. He was a great rebounding guard, and that was Clyde Drexler. Clyde Drexler, who played 15 seasons and has played in about 340 fewer games than LeBron Ramon James, has 946 more offensive rebounds than LeBron. And I can tell you this, LeBron's not going to catch him. LeBron can play 30 years, and he's not going to catch Clyde Drexler in offensive rebounds. That's pathetic. That it's taken him 21 years to do this. Pathetic. But, you know, uh, you can't criticize LeBron James because if you do, you'll be called all types of names, you know, even though he threw Kyrie Irving on the bus to save his own ass, even though he ran to Saudi Arabia to try to work out some type of deal, even though he claims to be an activist, but, you know, the Saudis treat... uh, you know, well, I'm not even gonna get into that in this particular video, not the not the right format. But anyway, tell me what you guys think.